Hello, in this video I'm going to do a number of examples on simplifying algebraic expressions. Now, algebraic expressions, when it, uh, you have to simplify algebraic expression, you students tend to get confused what the letters and the numbers mean. But if you take letters, understand letters as letters, it can be numbers. But when you're simplifying, you don't know what's the value of A or B or whatever. So in this question, the first question is 7a times 5. So let's understand what is 7a. So when you, whenever you have 7a, this means 7 times a. Okay, so the question is, this can be written as 7 times a times 5. Now you can't multiply, so you can simplify this like this, 7 times 5 times a. So you can multiply this too, which is 35 times a. So I told you 7a is a times 7, so 35 times a is written as 35a. That's all, that's the answer. You can't do anything more, so because you don't know what's the value of a, so this is the this, we have simplified this. Okay, these are very simple examples. Now here, let me use black now. Now this is, this is same as 15 times E times F over 5. So this is same as 15 divided by 5 times E times F. Now what is 15 divided by 5? That is 3 times E times F. So your final answer is 3EF, just like that. Okay, let me change color for the sake of changing color. So this is 4AB divided by 2. So I'll write this like this, 4 times A times B divided by 2. That is same as 4 divided by 2 times A times B. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times A times B. If you go step by step, it all makes sense. So the answer is 2AB. Okay, next question. 3Y plus 8Y. So you've got 3 lots of Y plus 8 lots of Y. Okay, suppose to understand this, suppose someone is asking you what is 3 times 5, this is an example, plus 3 times uh, say 8 times 5, okay, 8 times 5. So you can go 15, this is 15 plus 40, but if you think about this, is 3 lots of 5 plus 8 lots of 5 is same as, okay, one way of doing is, of course, 15 plus 40, there's nothing wrong there, 15 plus 40 is 55. Or you can go, this is 3 lots of 5 times 8 lots of 5 is 11 lots of 5 which is 55. So the same concept that you use in numbers is 3 lots of y plus 8 lots of y is 11y. That's it. This is the answer. Okay, next question. This is a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 3. Whenever you're multiplying expo uh, powers, you add, this is, this is called the base and this is called the exponent. The whole thing is called a power. So let us write, let me write the rule. Rule is when multiplying powers, the important thing is with the same base, with same base, what do you do? Add the exponents, add the exponents. So let me explain. Now this is, this is, let me change color. This is, this A and B, this A and this A is also called the base. This is the base and this and this are the exponents. Okay. So what did we write? When multiplying power, the whole thing is called a power, with the same base. The base should be same. Then only can add the exponent. So this answer would be a to the power 
4 plus 3, which is 8 to the power of 7. Now, those who don't understand this, suppose a to the power 4, you can understand is a times a times a times a. And a to the power 3 is a times a times a. So, a to the power 4 times a to the power 3 is equal to, so let me write this, a times a times a times a times, this is a to the power 4, a times, let me scroll down a little, a times, I hope this, this will confuse you, let me delete this. So let me rewrite, to use a different color. So a to the power 4 times a to the power 3 is, you have to write this, how many times? 4 times. So a times a times a times a, this is a to the power 4 times a to the power 3 is a times a times a. So this has been multiplied how many times? This has been multiplied a to the power 7. So that's what we do. We add the exponent to get the answer. Okay, now this is the opposite of multiplication. So if you're dividing, when you're multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponent. So here, what can be the rule when you're dividing? What should you do? You should take away. Okay, so you can write the rule. Take away exponent. Take away exponent when dividing when dividing powers with same base. This is very important. The same sorry with same base. Base. Uh, so this is b to the power 6, take away 2, this is b to the power 4. Now to explain this in a different way, now if you don't want to use the rule, you should be using the rule, but explain the rule. You can write this b to the power 6 divided by b squared as b to the power 6 divided by b squared. So this becomes b to the power 6 is b times 6 times here to multiply b. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by b squared, b times b. So what will happen, you can cancel 2b squareds. So what is remaining is this 4b is multiplied. So b to the power 4. Okay, so this is the same rule, but the only difference is, let me change color, this is 18 divided by 12 times b to the power 6 divided by b squared. Now you can divide both 16 and 8, sorry, 12 by, you can divide both by 6. So 18 divided by 6 is 3 over 2 times b to the power 6 minus 2. So you can write the final answer as 1.5 b to the power 4. So yeah, I'm grouping the letters together. So this is b to the power 1 over, sorry, m to the power 1 over m to the power 3 times 12 over 4. Because you're, you're multiplying, so you can write this in any order. doesn't matter because uh, when you're multiplying two numbers, you can multiply in any order. Okay? Now yeah, you can divide both of them by which number? What goes in 12 and 14? So well, I go 4 goes in 12 and 4 goes in 4. So this becomes, and here there's a rule, this is a greater power, yeah? And this is a smaller power. If this comes down and gets subtracted, so you write 1 over m to the power 3 minus 1 times 12 divided by 4 is 3 over 1. Now you may think, where did this 1 come from? Okay, 
So when this in the numerator comes down, it will be m to the power 0. And m to the power 0 you can understand as 1, okay, or any number to the power 0 is 1. This is a way of explaining, okay, uh, doesn't become m to the power 0. But because this has gone down, what remains is m to the power 0, and m to the power 0 is 1. I'll show you on a calculator. Any number, phi to the power 0 is 1. 8 to the power 0 is 1. 10,000, or whatever number 0, raised to 0 is 1. Okay. So, so this becomes, so 1 times 3, so this is 1 times 3 over m squared times 1. So the final answer is 3 over m squared. Okay, so let me try to finish one more question. So this is 3 times a squared to the power 4. Now this, this is called power of power. So when you have two powers with a bracket in between, you have to multiply. So this, I'll show you why later. So this is 3 times a to the power, so the final answer would be 3, a to the power 8. Now, why did I do this? I'll explain this here. a squared to the power 4 means, this is a squared times a squared times a squared times a squared. Now, we saw when you're multiplying powers with the same base, what do you do? You add the exponent. So that's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So you got 4 lots of 2. So that is a times 4 times 2 or 2 times 4, whichever way you write. That is a times 8. Okay. So, yeah, let me do this question. So this is the same rule. This is the power of 1. So this is phi to the power. 1 times 4 is 4, a to the power, 2 times 4 is 8, and b to the power, 3 times 4 is 12. And phi to the power 4 is 625. I'll show you this on a calculator. a to the power 8, b to the power 12. So phi raised to 4 is 625. And that's how we got this answer. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Keep working. Uh, see you in the next one.